Brasil, Sao Paulo, or the Interlagos circuit. The track is 4309 meters long in an anti clockwise direction. The start finish straight is uphill and is the highest part of a circuit characterized by varying elevation. The Senna S's. These go downhill in a complex of corners where the stability of the car is vital. Under full acceleration at 250 kph, the drivers tackle the Curva do Sol, which generates a sideways acceleration of 4G. This places a heavy demand on the tyre structure and compound throughout the corner. On the Reto Posta straight, the top speed is 310 kph on a bumpy surface that tends to destabilise the cars. The structure of the tyre absorbs the bumps in the track and neutralises the vertical movement of the chassis, meaning that the car is perfectly planted to the ground for the braking area and the following corner. The track moves on to a mixed section, taken more slowly in low gear. The lack of downforce, as well as all the torque from the engine, means that the tyres have to generate all the grip required to take the car through this complex series of corners. The cars accelerate uphill towards the straight. This, along with the bump and the slip angle provoked by the final corner, makes getting good traction out of it extremely difficult. The perfect adhesion of the tyre to the track provides the best grip possible and perfect driving precision.